Hey, how are you? Welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. And look, I even shaved. Isn't that cool? Those last two videos? Man, I look like I just woke up. But I am clean now, so let's get into it. It's a Lazy Man's episode. It's Lazy Man Pot Roast. And one of the things you're going to like about this is it smells good the minute you start cooking it. You don't have to wait for the flavors to kick in. The minute you put the meat in here and start, and you start browning it, oh, the whole house smells great. I learned this about a month ago. And I've done it about six times since then, and I've done it with, I've done it with chicken, and I've done it with pork, and I've done it with beef. Today we're gonna do a pot roast with beef, okay? It's delicious. So get ready to learn another Lazy Man's recipe. Now you're gonna probably wanna go out and get one of these. This is called a Dutch oven, okay? And it's kinda, you can hear, it's, it's like cast iron. It's really heavy, and it's porcelain lined on the inside. Now I got this for about 40 bucks at Walmart, but you can go to any store, Target, or they all have these, and they're really heavy, but the beauty, here's the beauty, right in there, see that? All that porcelain coating in there, okay? You get the luxury of cooking with cast iron, but you clean the porcelain, it's a dream. Not only that, but the best part is you can put it on the stove top and grill stuff inside here, and then you can put the lid on it and stick it in the oven. That's the cool part. All right, so let's do that right now. Put the lid back on here. I'm just gonna show you exactly the little bit of things you're gonna need. Now I have a huge thing of olive oil. You're not gonna need all this, but you're gonna need a little bit of olive oil. I buy it in a large quantity because I'm using olive oil all the time. You're just gonna use your basic pepper, some coarse salt, all right, get some coarse salt. You're gonna need a thing of beef stock. You're gonna wanna also get your pot roast meat or your steak. Uh, you can use different cuts of meat. I'm using beef round. And you can use a low cut. Once again, this is really cool because you can, you can get a cheap piece of meat and make it really tender because this is gonna cook in the oven for a long time. So don't worry about that. And then you're also gonna need a large onion and you're gonna need some mushrooms and that's it. And oh yeah, yeah, I'm also gonna throw in some wet minced garlic. So we're gonna show you how this all plays together. We're gonna start with seasoning the meat. Okay, now here's a tip. If you're gonna season your meat before you cook it, room temperature. Once again, watch my lips. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, can you see my lips? Room temperature, okay? Leave the meat out until it reaches room temperature. I don't know why. I guess the seasoning seeps in the meat a lot better. Boy, this is really uncomfortable. Okay, let's start seasoning it. You can do a little coarse salt. I know, I'm making a mess, I don't care. Most of it's gonna fall off anyway, so don't worry about it. Then you're gonna do a little bit of uh, black pepper. Now here's what I do. Instead of me flipping this and losing all the seasoning, okay? All right, I got that side seasoned. I'm gonna take it over to the stove and I'm gonna put it in the hot oil and seasoning side down. So any seasoning that falls will still stay in the pot. You get it? The other side's not seasoned yet. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you. Okay, we're gonna brown this meat. So first thing you wanna do is get that oil in there. Once the oil's heated, you're gonna take the meat, make sure your hands are washed, and you're gonna put it face down, seasoning side down. You ready? Be careful. If you're young, you're gonna wanna get your parents' help, okay? Don't do this without your parents' permission. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, here we go. There's the second one. I don't know what it is. That initial sizzling just is awesome. Now you can do the second side. This way all your seasoning isn't lost. Now you're gonna brown all sides, okay? Let that brown nice and good. Let it seal the outside. Okay, now this is gonna go pretty quick. This is an easy recipe. So while this is browning, run over the table, cut up your onions, and cut up your mushrooms. Get that ready, because that's gonna go in soon. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. All right, let's take a look, see if it's browning on the other side. Oh, it's perfect, look at that. All right, give it a flip. Check this one out. Yummy. Browning just good. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Then we'll hit the sides, the other two sides. 
All right, they're on the last side. Get yourself a plate, because we're going to take the meat out in a minute, and we're going to put it on this plate to rest. Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? That's beautiful. Okay, so you're going to take the meat and set it over here for right now. We're not done with that yet. Put it right on over here. Step one, we brown the meat in the salt and the pepper. Now here's step two. You're going to take the mushrooms and the onions. I cut all my mushrooms in half, okay? And I did big semicircles of uh, onions. All right, you can just dump those right in here, ready? Yeah! This is way too easy. Okay, you're gonna saute everything right in here. So, step number two, don't empty this out. All that, uh, all that juice from the meat and all the seasoning, burnt seasoning in there, just throw the mushrooms and the onions in here and a little bit of garlic and let that all cook. Now that it's all sauteed, here comes the final thing. Turn off your flame. This is so easy. Watch this. Ready? Piece of cake. Set that right in there. Set that right back in there. You're going to grab the beef stock. You can use your own or you can pre-buy it. Just pour it all in there. Now, let me give you a real quick tip. We're going to cover this up. We just got to cook that in the oven. Two and a half hours at 350 degrees, okay? About a halfway through, an hour and 15 minutes into the cooking process. Slide this out, remove the lid, take your clamps, flip the meat over, put the lid back on, okay? And then slide it all back into the oven, okay? And in two and a half hours, we're gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, here we go. 350 degrees, two and a half hours. Oh, situated right on that towel. Are you ready? Can you take a look? Voila. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Is that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, now remember when you take this meat out, Okay, you're going to want to let it set. Never cut your meat right away. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? The onions and the mushrooms. All right, we're gonna put this right in there. Oh yeah, can you see how beautiful that looks? Gorgeous. We're gonna plate this up for you. Piping hot. Minimum 15 minutes, okay? Let that set for about 15 minutes. It's gonna cool, all that steam's gonna turn back into juice. Do not cut it open yet. What you can do is dress it up, get a little juice, a little bit of these mushrooms. Right, like that, it's beautiful. The onions, just let it fall where it may. Nice. There we go. Let that set for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna cut right into that. It's beautiful. You could put mashed potatoes on the side of this. You could put asparagus, just throw a salad together, eat it just like this, whatever you wanna do. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna fall apart and I'm gonna show you in just one second, but we gotta let this set. Look at this. Oh yeah, okay. I'm just gonna show you how tender it is, okay? Some of the toughest meat ever and it just, look at that. Just pulls apart beautifully. Oh yeah, look. Just comes right apart, right off. You could just rip it off with a fork. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> look at that. It's just falling apart. Oh my goodness, look at that piece. Nice, huh? It just You could literally serve this by just, just taking the fork. Just pulling it right apart, look at that. It's just piece after piece. You can even lay this on top of uh, French rolls and just pour the, uh, the juice all over the top of it. All right, let's give this a try. Now, before I try this out, I gotta tell you, how good was that? That was easy. You browned it in the salt and pepper, you pulled the meat out, 
You threw your onions and mushrooms and you cooked it in the juice. You threw everything in there with some beef stock and stuck it in the oven. The oven did all the work. And now this inexpensive piece of meat is just absolutely falling apart right at the touch of a fork. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. You've got to make this right away. You can make this every week. Switch it to pork. Switch it to chicken. Use chicken broth instead of beef broth. Have fun with this. Lazy Man's Pot Roast. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. Mmm. Oh, my goodness.